Hey everyone, I thought I would kick off a new series of videos highlighting some of the tricks I use when working on my projects. Today I wanted to show a simple trick when working with a cardboard project. Since I normally use bottles as a starting structure, I'm limited to curvy windows and no way of really getting straight walls. I have to basically conform to the curves of the plastic bottle or the glass jar that's underneath the project. So for the house cottage that I'm currently working on, I want to show you a way that you can make windows for it and even stain them for its effect. Now in order to do this, you're going to need a couple of supplies. So you'll need some acetate sheets, and I got these at Office Depot, but any office supply store will work. Just ask in the copier section. Uh, you'll also need some white glue, an X-Acto knife, and as an optional step, food coloring. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. So in order to start, I've got my project here, this little cottage house I'm working on. And I need to basically cut out the windows. Um, I've put air dry clay over the, the outside and I've left the areas where I want my windows to show open so I can cut them out with my X-Acto knife. So I start cutting them out. I basically cut out all the little areas that I need to do. The next step is to take the clear acetate and with a marker or sharpie or something or something just uh, mark off the dimensions of the window and then cut it out and I typically will do a piece that's a little bit bigger than the window opening just so that I have some room to glue the acetate um, to the window so here I'm just gonna take some white glue and run it along the inside of where the window is going to be just so that the acetate can can stick on I'll go ahead and place the acetate inside after I've done a little bit of glue along the edge and then as a little bit of a support I'll run glue again white glue around the edge of the acetate. I try not to uh, put glue over the area that will be visible through the window just on the edges where you really can't see it here. So here's a cool little trick. Once it's dried, if you take food coloring and Mix just one drop into white glue and mix it all up. You essentially can create a stain. And you can apply the stain to the window once it's dried and leave it to dry. It'll take a little bit of time to dry and it may dry, it may, it may start looking a little blotchy when you're letting it dry, but that's okay. Just leave it alone. And once it's dried, it'll come up, it'll have a really cool, like frost look to it that's pretty neat. Um, usually one application is enough, but if you find that it didn't cover it all, you can go ahead and put another application. Two or three is fine. The more you put, the foggier it'll be. But you can see at the end, it'll have this cool uh, uh, diffused look to it, and it looks really cool with lights. So I hope this video was helpful. and. I look forward to doing more of these and stay tuned because I'll soon be posting my time lapse of this cottage house once I'm finished with it. I will be putting it on the channel. Thanks for watching.